heater is a very useful home appliance and it is better to make sure it is working properly. It has a safety device which includes a sensor called the thermocouple and a special solenoid valve which closes in case the heater goes off accidentally. Let us first take a look at the safety device operation. First of all, we have the thermocouple made up of two pieces of wire of two different metals. The wires are welded together at one end and are separated at the other end. If we heat the end where the joint is, this will produce a very feeble voltage at the free ends of the cables. This voltage of about 10 thousandths of a volt is connected to a coil made of a few turns of copper wire wound over a ferromagnetic material core. When the thermocouple is hot, the ferromagnetic core is magnetized. When the thermocouple cools down, it does not produce any voltage and the core loses its magnetization. Close to the ferromagnetic core is a small iron plate welded to a sliding shaft. At the other end of the shaft, there is a rubber gasket which rests against a hole through which the gas goes on to the input of the heater. A spring holds the rubber gasket covering the hole. The heater has a starting button which pushes the sliding shaft, thus opening the hole and allowing the gas to flow, as well as touching the iron plate against the ferromagnetic core. When we wish to turn on the heater, we have to press first the start button. This will push the iron plate until it touches the ferromagnetic core. We turn on the pilot flame and wait about 30 seconds until the thermocouple delivers about 10 thousandths of a volt and the core is magnetized enough as not to let go the iron plate. If we now release the start button, the magnetization of the core does not allow the spring to pull the iron plate. While the thermocouple is hot, the ferromagnetic core will be magnetized and the spring cannot pull the iron plate away from the core, thus opening the gas flow so the heater can work. If for any reason the pilot flame goes out, the thermocouple stops producing voltage the ferromagnetic core becomes demagnetized and the spring pulls the shaft, closing the gas flow with the rubber gasket. This prevents the gas from leaking out, creating a high risk of suffocation or explosion. Now let's take a look at the heater burner. It is mainly made up of a carburetor which mixes the incoming gas with air from the room. This air fuel mixture goes to the burner, which is nothing but a chamber with many small holes where the gas is being burned. The proper mixture is done using a sprayer which controls the gas flow so the mixture is adequate. The air inlet also has a butterfly valve which can be adjusted. When both are properly adjusted, they yield a blue flame and no smoke. It is appropriate not to use a heater which burns with a yellow flame. This indicates an incomplete combustion which can be extremely dangerous. Never operate a heater in which the safety device has been tampered with or is working improperly. I hope this clip has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.